Hi, I'm Jason Hurtis. Today, we're gonna to be taking control to a whole new level. Technology continues to enhance our world. Caterpillar is constantly defining, developing, and refining technologies such as fully autonomous mining trucks, to remote control, to semi-autonomous features that automate certain parts of a machine to enhance the operator's productivity and make them more efficient. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at remote control systems for loading, dozing, excavating, and compaction. In order to accomplish this task, we're gonna be looking at a couple different segments. The features, the benefits of CAT command and remote control, how it can increase your productivity, efficiency, profitability, and never forget about the safety capabilities of using CAT command and remote control. Then we'll be reviewing somebody that actually uses remote control in a job site and learn how they became more productive and more efficient and drove profitability to their bottom line. So come with me, let's get started. Today we're gonna to be talking about Command, a technology from Caterpillar that covers a suite of technologies ranging from remote control to semi-autonomous to full autonomy. We're accompanied by our subject matter expert in Command, Alan Pumplin. In simple terms, when somebody says command, what does it mean to you and what all does it include? CAT command at Caterpillar, whether it's mining or construction industries, is our remote control, semi-autonomous and autonomous solutions. So at Caterpillar, our remote control offerings, it's what we're gonna be focusing on today, is offered in either a line of sight solution or a non-line of sight solution. At Caterpillar, we are the only OEM offering both of these type of solutions from the manufacturer. So let's talk about line of sight first. Is that like the remote station that I've seen operators on a job site with where they're kind of close to the machine, or is that different? So what that is, is an operator is using a console, an over-the-shoulder console, where he's running the machine remotely up to 1,300 feet away. With Caterpillar offering this, all the features that you can do on the machine are available remotely on that line of sight console. So with remote control, I can be anywhere from zero to 1,300 feet away, and I'm literally operating the machine without being in the cab of the machine, is that correct? That's correct, absolutely. And having it from Caterpillar, we do a great job of being able to deeply integrate with all of our systems. So all the features that operators are used to inside the machine are available through the remote control console. Okay, and then the next one you talked about was non-line of sight. Obviously, that's more than 1,300 feet away, or what is non-line of sight? Non-line of sight has actually been the more popular option for customers and the tremendous versatility it has. Basically, what we're using are high-definition cameras mounted on the machines to bring back that video feed to an operator that's in a seated position with the machine controls. So the operator is you know, off the machine in a nice, seated, quiet environment operating a machine with high definition cameras. Okay, so line of sight, kind of close to the machine, wearing a harness, much like a static line control plane when we were little. You're still kind of close, but yet you're far away. Non line of sight, you could be ultimately anywhere in the world using cameras that are on board the machine, giving the operator feedback in real time of what the machine's doing, how to operate the machine. As a customer, what are some of the benefits that I could reap by using remote control command? I usually focus purely on safety. So they're performing a function that's pretty quick. So they'll actually have the console with them in the cab, jump out of the machine, perform that dangerous work using that line of sight remote, and then get back in their cab and run the machine manually. It's a flip of a switch. It's very intuitive, very easy. Keep that operator safe during that dangerous application. Non-line of sight with our command station is way more versatile in the respects that we can be local to the machine or in a different state. The distance really is limited only by the connectivity. 
So as long as they meet the specifications laid out in our technical documents, there is no limitation on distance. The operator in that command station is in a seated position, nice ergonomics, usually a climate controlled environment, no exposure to the dust and vibration that you'd see on the job site, just a generally more productive, less fatigued experience for that operator. That's the versatility of the command station. It can be in a portable trailer, local to the job site, to being installed in a corporate office hundreds of miles away. So some huge benefits from using command remote control. Why would I want to go to a command system? What would be the advantage for me of moving from building and training and recruiting and hiring operators to, to go into command. Whether it's a pipeline job or, or even a quarry in a remote location, customers struggle with getting those qualified operators who often have to travel long distances. So you can imagine being able to now offer a remote location near a highly populated area. Now these operators don't have to travel an hour, two hours to their location. They can actually work in the station. Now that you're in that office environment, there are no restrictions from a standpoint of being able to get onto that station. You can literally take a person in a wheelchair and bring them right up to that station and perform the same work that they're normally be excluded from. And then of course you got the entire gamification type The next uh, folks, generation absolutely. that like to play the games. And... You know, the appeal of for these young younger generations that uh, I'm gonna be operating a machine that's remotely operated and actually get paid to do it, right? So it would easily be an advantage to, you know, help the older operators that, you know, have some bad knees or some bad ankles from climbing up and down machines for years or shoulders or things like that because the movements are a little bit different. Recruitment, getting the next generation involved is pretty easy because it is a big video game, basically. And then, uh, you know, not looking over any of the disability that our excellent operators have either been hurt on the job or hurt somewhere else that would be not eligible to climb and enter a particular machine, but still are excellent operators in their own right. So. Yeah, one of the top challenges, as you know, is, is the, uh, the operators, the qualified operators, right? So being able to extend that qualified workforce that you have now, because they're not physically being in that machine and in that environment is a tremendous advantage, right, for folks. And then being able to take that knowledge from your more experienced generation, you can actually transition that in the station because we can physically be right next to each other, training that younger generation to fill in those gaps of not being on that job site, right? So a bunch of huge advantages from using command or the remote control systems. Alan, I know you travel the world and command is your wheelhouse. You are the wizard behind the curtain for command. Talk about some of the applications that you've worked with customers. What were some of the unique things? What did they learn? And more importantly, what did we learn? from implementing command on job sites. We actually have a customer that's actually running three D8s. After implementing command, realized that with the added productivity of command, that they could actually do the same amount of work with two D8s. How did they get added productivity from two machines rather than three? You think about the lunch, you think just, just a, you know, a day in the life of an operator, the transition of the pre-shift meetings, right? The amount of time it takes to travel to the machine, the breaks, the lunches, operators can hot swap. So what the customer found out is that they can be running the machine a whole lot more, which results in a lot more productivity, so much so they could actually do the same amount of work with two dozers now, and actually reallocate a third of their workforce that were supporting those dozers to other parts of their operations that needed those skilled operators. It's a really good success story, and they're continuing to expand with other command machines. That's very really interesting. Give me, give me one more application example that you've been on. Another popular application that we're seeing a tremendous amount of pull in is actually digging out and remediating ash ponds. So these ash ponds are a result of burning coal and it is a very dangerous, dangerous application. Most of the machines that break through or have accidents are oftentimes fatal because the machine will sink its very unstable surface. And so a lot of these companies are mandating remote control. In the past, customers always talked about the sacrifice of productivity for safety. And now you can really have both, right? By removing the operator, you're still able to be productive, not risk the life of the operator, but still get the work done and still get done efficiently. So as Alan's mentioned throughout this entire segment, there are some huge benefits that can be reaped from command in the remote control system. It's available on numerous products, as he's talked about, loading tools, track-type tractors or dozing tools, compaction, and many others. 
The benefits are from an operator standpoint from safety. Again, it removes an operator from a harsh environment, puts them in a more controlled environment. You also get some benefits or advantages from recruitment, retainment of operators, cross-training of operators, and lastly, as he's mentioned through a couple applications, you can increase your safety on the job site by removing that operator and can also get a productivity increase because that operator is in a more controlled environment. They can hot seat or hot swap operators, again, to keep their productivity levels up. Alan, thank you very much for your time today. We really appreciate you, you being with us and talking us through command. Okay, folks, let's talk a little bit about command for compaction for the CAT compactors. What is command for compaction? Command for compaction is a semi-autonomous control of the compaction processes of the machine. So in other words, it's an operator-assisted technology. So what does command for compaction do? This technology enables compaction control by controlling the machine speed, direction, steering, coverage, and a vibration system. So how do we use command for compaction in the field? Well, this is very simple, folks. When we get to the field, first thing we need to do is define the area we want to compact. So very simply, I'll mark out four points. I want to compact in this area. The next thing I need to do is tell it how to compact. So I'll go into the menu screen and tell it, I want you to do so many passes in high amplitude, so many passes in low amplitude, and so many passes in static. All the while, I'm changing my frequency as well. I'm storing that information. The next thing we need to do is tell it how fast to go. This ensures that we don't go too fast on a job site, commonly between three and five miles per hour. Typically on a job site, we tend to go too fast. Helps us fail compaction when that happens. And the fourth and final thing to do in that area is to tell how much overlap we need to have. Typically, I run between six and 10 inches of overlap. So this ensures 100% coverage when we're doing our compaction. And now we put that machine on this arrow where it says this is the way we're gonna compact. The automation light will become backlit or active all we need to do is press automatic and sit back and enjoy the ride. The machine will take over. It will, again, control the steering, the direction, the speed, the coverage, and control of that vibration system. So what's the benefit to you as an operator and or owner of this machine? Well, number one, it ensures 100% coverage. It takes the gaps out of the experience level. So if you've got a very experienced operator that has to jump off that machine and go run into something else and you have to put an inexperienced operator in there, you eliminate that skill gap, if you will. That new operator can operate just as efficiently as your experienced operator. By controlling all these functions of the vibratory system and the coverage, mainly the coverage, it allows for much more efficiency on the job site, less fuel used, less time involved to do that job. And probably the most important thing is operator fatigue is basically eliminated. Uh, especially when you get in anything over a four pass pattern. When I was doing a, a pattern getting up into eight, 10 and 12 pass patterns, I tend to get lost in that pattern after about six or eight runs because I can't see my tracks anymore. With command for compaction, that takes that all out of the picture because it controls that exact six to 10 inch overlap. It knows where I'm at within that compaction zone and it ensures 100% coverage. All these things combined together helps us when quality control comes out to check densities. Now we can be reasonably assured we're gonna meet Proctor values and meet our target compaction level. So it ensures that we have less or minimal times when we have to come in and rip up a lift or miss what I call missing a lift and have to reprocess that lift and put it back down. This is huge in savings for you as an owner and an operator. Command for compaction is obviously gonna be a very huge asset to your operation. That's exactly what we did to this machine right here. Uh, we added it to it in the field just last week, and now we're using Command for Compaction. Any B series CAT compact, the 56B all the way on up. Sure, 
This machine has intelligent compaction. That combined with the mapping system and command for compaction, I tell you what folks, you have got one stellar machine on your job site. Whether you're on a dozer with auto carry or all the e-fences on the excavator, can I use those with CAT Command? Absolutely. One of the benefits of Caterpillar providing a remote control solution is that all the assist features and technology features that are on the machines can be used on our remote control systems, whether it's the CAT console or the CAT station. Well, that wraps up today's episode on CAT Command and Remote Control, where we covered the features, the benefits, the application of CAT Command and Remote Control, how it can increase your productivity, efficiency, potentially profitability, and never forget about the safety capabilities of using CAT Command and Remote Control. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.